So the Bible say, who can make war with the beast? And the truth is, no one can. Not as in me, but as a mnemonic. No one. Uh, excuse me. I'm drinking a soda. No one. As in, no human being, no part of mankind can make war with the beast. Now, in scripture it is written that good things come from God. Yes? All right. Now, if you can't make war with the beast, then that would mean the beast made a good thing, didn't he? Now, if good things come from God and you can't war with the beast because the beast made a good thing, then can't do you know the, the uh do you know the difference between good and evil? Now, Something can be evil, something can be good and evil in this world, meaning something can be both good and evil. That can happen in this world. You understand what I'm saying? So no man can make war with the beast. And in truth, he doesn't know the difference between good and evil. Not completely. That's how dark it is. Christ had to come and give us a way. You understand what I'm saying? So therefore, you know, we got the commandments. And only Christ can make war with the beast because he knew no sin. Not as in he didn't know what sin, what sin was. But he didn't, he didn't sin. He didn't make any sin. He knew of it not. So, you know what I'm saying? Righteousness is accounted. You know what I'm saying? You can't justify yourself as being righteous. It don't work like that. All right? Lest any man boast. No man, and it's also written, and no man will save you. Okay, no man will save you from this. All right. So, peace and blessings be with you all. To show you how dark it is, good and evil. Now man has became one of us to know good and evil. And though you know it, you don't. It's what you're doing. And you know it as in your actions. But forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. That's how dark it is. Spiritual darkness. Pertaining to principalities and high places. Peace and blessings be with you all.